सो हाय वन दिस इज योर मेंटर एडुकेटर आकाश था फाइनली बैक विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइस यू ऑल गाइस आर यू नो अवेटेड फॉर दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज एंड इफ यू आर द जे एस्पायरेंट ऑब्वियसली देन दिस न्यूज इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू बिकॉज नाउ यू नो द टाइम हैव यू नो टाइम इज हियर टू प्रूव योरसेल्फ दैट यू नो व्हाट यू हैव डन इन दिस होल ईयर और फ्रॉम द पास्ट टू इयर्स ओके इट्स टाइम टू शो योर रियल स्ट्रेंथ व्हाई बिकॉज एनटीए has you know uh, given a public notice on 28th of october 2024 about the registration of jee mains exam about the date of the examination of session 1 and all the other very important details now you know after looking you know i i know that you uh, already know about this uh, you know uh, statement about the public notice but you you know you want some very important insights from this notice that uh, i will you know tell you in this video but before starting guys most of you you know are in a panic mode now because you know you think that sir you know uh, uh, it's it's the final time for us and you know uh, what should we do now to score a very good marks in jee main examination so don't you know you don't need to panic guys okay so you already have even now you have 3 months almost 3 months because i will tell you the uh, actual date of the session 1 exam of jee mains so you have enough time to do whatever you want okay especially you want some you know a very good preparation of all your three subjects so you have enough time to do whatever okay so don't panic and let's look at the public notice we'll understand each and every point of this notice okay what's very important for us now let's look at it guys so this is a public notice from 28th of october okay what is the notice inviting inviting online application forms for joint entrance examination j means 2025 all right what they are saying they are saying that the department of higher education ministry of education government of india has ensured the responsibility of conducting the jee exam uh, to the nta from 2019 onwards you know that nta is the responsible body to conduct this exam all right so jee means comprises of two papers paper 1 this is for you guys okay bachelor of engineering and technology is conducted for the admission uh, you know admission of undergraduates engineering programs and the second one uh, is for your br can b planning all right guys so let's look at about all these things just a second all right guys let's look at this now so here we have all the important dates now all right here we have all the important dates now for academic session 25 26 it has been decided that the jee mains 20 25 will be conducted in two session all right you have the session 1 in january and then the session 2 after uh, january guys all right okay now look at this in april by the way let's talk about the details for the session 1 this is the very important thing for all of you guys which is the january 2025 so the online submission of application form has started now which is started from 28th of october 2024 and which will end on 22nd of november 2024 up to 9 pm very important you can now register for your je mains exam all right now don't panic that sir you know i'll just i'll just fill the registration form by today you know there may be a problem with server issue and everything don't worry it happens so don't panic you have almost uh, you know a whole month to do this registration but don't think that i will do the registration at 22nd of november because it is the last date no at the last date we have so many people on the site so there may be a crash or anything so just take 5 or 6 days only all right so that you know uh, there is no problem with the website and you can register yourself accurately very important thing you have to you know you have to take care of all the other things as well about your details about your city of examination and everything so you have a lot of things to take care of so don't do in a hurry and even don't to take a lot of time to do this registration very very important all right guys last date of successful transaction because you have to pay a fee okay through the credit debit and net banking or upi and the last date for this is 22nd of november 2024 for the same reason i'm again you know telling you that there may be some technical issues in the bank so don't do this at the very last date which is 22nd of november do it in the next 10 days only all right now everyone announcement of the city of examination after you know doing the registration after filling the uh, you know the fee now you the nta will give you your you know uh, the date of uh, the city of examination by the way for all the girls people you have a city you have only a single city uh, where you can opt for you know to write the exam in the online mode so you don't have to that to think that uh, uh, you know you don't know the city of the examination just before the exam you uh, you know you will know it already but in india you have to choose some you know two or three uh, cities according to your uh, you know uh, ease so you know at the last uh, nta will decide uh, you know accordingly that uh, in which city you will uh, have to write your exam 
All right. So you will get by the first week of January 2025 about the final city of your examination. You will be allowed to download your admit cards from the NTA website three days before the exam, before the actual date of the exam, whatever is there in your admit card. But guys, very important thing. What is the final date of examination for J means examination? It is between 22 January to 31 January. You know that there are so many shifts. All right. So this is the whole one week in January, the last week of January. That's why I'm saying that this is almost, I think now today is 30. All right. Uh, this, uh, this public notice came, you know, on 28, I think. All right. So after this 28, this is almost three months. And in these three months, you can do a lot of things for your J exam. You know, you can do a lot of mock test. Okay. If your syllabus, you know, is uh, something is, uh, you know, uh, not completed uh, uh, regarding your syllabus. And also you can do a lot of things. You have enough time. So don't panic again. All right. So this is the last week of January in which you have to write your exam. All right. You will get the name of the city of the examination before the three days. You will get the admit card. All right. Now, Display of the recorded response and the answer keys. Answer keys will be out. Okay. You know, this is not mentioned here. They will announce it later on the website. All right. Uh, this is just after the exam. So don't worry. All right. Now the time to focus on the exam on, uh, you know, uh, not on the answer key. Now, what is the official website? This is the official website. You can write uh, it anywhere. All right. Declaration of the result on the NDA website, 12th of February. These are the very important dates which you have to now remember. Okay. And you have to fill your registration, you know, form accordingly, application form accordingly. Now, the other things which are important right here in this public notice, let's look, uh, uh, you know, uh, look on all the other details. All right. Now, what are the other details? A candidate can apply for session 1, January 2025 examination and pay the exam fee accordingly. All right. The candidates will be given opportunity to apply for session 2, April, which is right there in April 2025 separately using same application and number. Now, what, what, you know, what this point is saying that they are saying that if you apply, you know, if you fill the registration form for the session one in January and you again wants to, you know, write the exam in the session two. So don't worry, the same details, the login details will be used for the second session as well. But there will be a new admit card for that. All right. But same login details will be used. All right. Along with the fee payment, you have, again have to do the fee payment, obviously, because you are doing the second session. All right. Which separate notification will be issued. Next. The second point, if a candidate wishes to apply for session two, the candidate can log in and pay the examination fee for session two during that period. If candidate wishes, very important thing, if candidate wishes to apply only for session two, he can register later. Means if you think, I don't know, I don't think that so many people think like this. If they think that, sir, I will not write the January session, uh, I will write the exam in April session. So I will do the registration in April in the second notification. You can do that as well. All right. So when the application of uh, form for session two will be active, you can do that later. But I think most of you, 99.9% .9 you know, students think like the, you know, this way that uh, they will write the exam in January session one. And after this, uh, you know, uh, after this experience, uh, you know, they will be well prepared in the session two. So you will do accordingly whatever you want. Now, the application window for session two will be reappointed as per the details available in the information. And for the same, you will have the new notice after your session one. Now, what are the other details uh, that you can look up to in this, uh, you know, notice? What are the other important things? The other important thing is the exam pattern. You know that just before this notice, NTA, you know, uh, you know, NTA has published uh, one more notice. In that notice, they say, look, before uh, COVID, we have the rule, uh, you know, that in the section B, we only have five questions. Okay. But, uh, uh, you know, after the COVID, they've changed it to 10 questions and you only have to choose five of the questions. All right. But now they have again changed it back. And now uh, there will be 25 questions for each of the subject, guys. Section A includes 20 questions. Section B includes five questions. And you have to attempt all the questions from the section B, integer type based, uh, based question without any MCQ. All right. Computer based test uh, CBT mode exam. Shift one, shift second from nine to 12, from three to six. This is about the paper two and paper two B, which is only for BR and B planning. No, no, you know, not for the B tech and the BE, which you are going to fill up guys. All right. I think this is it. This is the most important thing. And there is nothing mentioned about the negative marking here. 
so um, you know you you just to prepare yourself okay uh, accordingly about what is mentioned here that you will have the five questions in section b you have to attempt all of them all right and there will be no choice in section b uh, uh, like no mcq is there so this is all very important notes you know a very important thing is the important dates that you have you can register yourself all right let's look anything uh, in this uh, public notice for us I think yes, you know they have some important uh, instructions. Very good. Let's uh, understand this. Candidates can apply for J Main 2025 session through online mode. This is the online mode only. You can't do anything else, guys. You can only register by online mode from the website of J Main's NTA. Okay. Only one application is to be submitted by candidate under no circumstance candidate will be allowed to fill more than one application. You know, sometimes what we think that if we, you know, if we uh, fill the registration form in a hurry and we, we you know, uh, we do some mistakes and then th then we think that we can just fill up the registration form again. No, this is not possible, guys. Don't do this. All right. Strict action will be taken even at a later stage. So against such can candidates who have filled more than one application form. So fill the application form. You know, uh, take a lot of time, not a lot of time, take enough time to write all the important things, okay, and to understand all the uh, important things in the registration form. Candidate must strictly follow the instructions given in the information bulletin, okay, that is on the website on the of the NTA, that, let's skip it. Candidate must ensure that the email address and the mobile number provided in the offline, uh, online application form are their own or parents, girl, guardians only as all information communication will be sent by NTA through email. Sometimes what we do guys, you know, uh, we just, uh, you know, we just go to a shop, all right, a tech shop and then we ask to fill the application form. All right, so we'll, you know, we'll give the details to uh, that particular shopkeeper, okay, and then we ask to fill the application form and sometimes what he, you know, uh, he or she at the shop, you know, uh, do that they fill their details to have the OTP, their number or their email address. Don't do this. Make sure the email that you are given in the, you know, you are, you are going to give in the application form and the mobile number belongs to you or your guardian because all the important informations will be there on these email address and mobile number what you are, you know, you are writing there. Okay, so don't, you know, do this. All right. These are the all information, all important information about this public notice. I hope you got it well. And for further information, follow the BW Gulf. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.